Sick Building Syndrome Why indoor air pollution is more dangerous than you think? Attention! Warning Signs Do you feel fatigued, sleepy, exhausted and stressed all the time? Do you have frequent headaches, flu symptoms, skin, throat or eye irritations? Do you feel like something is sucking out all your power at work or at home? Do you have strange symptoms that don't correspond to any particular illness? Do your physicians say same old stuff about vitamins, more rest, healthy lifestyle, but none seems to make any difference? We know what your problem is, and we will help you solve it. What is Sick Building Syndrome? Sick Building Syndrome, or SBS, is a combination of conditions associated with a specific building. Most people think that this syndrome only affects office buildings, which is not true. Residential housing can also have this effect on human health. The reason this condition is mostly thought of as an office-related problem, is because of additional negative health effects caused by office equipment, stress, pressure, etc. Sick building syndrome symptoms don't identify a specific cause or illness. The main reason for sick building syndrome symptoms is polluted indoor air. The problems can be localized in a particular room or spread throughout the entire building. SBS symptoms usually disappear after the sufferer leaves the building, or shortly after that. Now, what is building-related illness? Building-related illness, or BRI, is a similar situation to sick building syndrome, but the health problems can be clearly identified with a specific condition and pollution source. Besides, BRI sufferers usually experience stronger and longer negative effects on their health than SBS sufferers even after leaving the building. Sick building syndrome and building-related illness have very similar symptoms, only BRI tends to manifest in a stronger and longer way. Sick building syndrome symptoms include, irritation of the eyes, nose, throat, dry and irritated skin, neurotoxic or general health problems, non-specific hypersensitivity reactions, odor and taste sensitivity, chest tightness, cough, headache, dizziness and nausea, fatigue. Building related illness symptoms include, cough, chest tightness, chills, fever, muscle aches, headache, dizziness and nausea, and others. What are the causes of sick building syndrome and building related illness? Both SBS and BRI are caused by poor indoor air quality. These are the main factors that can cause or contribute to sick building syndrome or building related illness. Inadequate ventilation, poorly installed HVAC systems, insufficient air exchange rates, indoor chemical contaminants, carpeting, paints, wood products, pesticides, cleaning agents, indoor smoking, etc. Outdoor chemical contaminants, exhaustion fumes, building exhausts, combustion products, biological contaminants, mold, pollen, bacteria, insects, and others. How to protect yourself from sick building syndrome and building related illness? US Environmental Protection Agency EPA, suggests taking the following steps if you suspect sick building syndrome and BRI in your office or home. Pollutant source removal or modification. Increasing ventilation rates. Using air cleaning devices. Education and communication. In our video part 2, we explain in detail those four main ways of personal protection from sick building syndrome. We teach you how to eliminate these pollution sources in a safe, effective, and free, or low-cost way. We provide more information on maintaining a healthy indoor environment. Don't wait anymore, go to aircleanersystems.com forward slash sick building syndrome and stop the decaying influence of indoor pollution on your health. Go to aircleanersystems.com to learn how to create a healthy and natural indoor environment for you and your family members.